and the introdu introduction of solar isn't new for us. We actually started solar projects very small scale as far back ago as year 2000. The project you're going to hear about today is the largest in the Tampa Bay area and it's the most unique type of integration of technologies in the whole state. It uh, has to consider flood conditions, high wind conditions, the topography of the site itself, and the fact that we're using a new thin film technology and single axis tracking maximizes the energy output and is the most cost effective way that we've found to date that can produce effective, reliable solar PV generation and complement our fleet. This is our first full size utility scale solar facility and it's unique on our system, and it's a very big step for Tico and our new partner and owner, Amira. And we do, in fact, plan to do a lot more of these types of projects moving forward. This is part of a broader strategy for Tampa Electric. And in partnership with Amira, we see low carbon footprint generating technology like this solar facility and the Polk 2 power facility that we dedicated just last month which is a large natural gas fired power plant. Combination of natural gas and solar being all of our growth uh, moving forward. I am here to congratulate my good friend Gordon Gillette on, uh, you know, again, being the leader in our state in trying to move this issue of solar energy forward. I think it really is so commendable. And the Board of County Commissioners is pleased to congratulate Tampa Electric for the completion of its Big Bend Solar Array, the largest solar energy installation in the Tampa Bay region. Uh, it's going to be able to power 3,300 homes, cut down on carbon dioxide emissions by up to 30 tons, which is the equivalent of removing 6,000 cars from the road. Thank you so much.